Welcome everyone, my name's Ali A. Today we've got an unexpected Black Ops 3 teaser trailer. This isn't the full trailer that will be coming out on Sunday the 26th of April, but this does give us loads of information and is pretty damn hype in terms of what we're going to be getting for Black Ops 3 this year. So I'm going to break everything down, I'm going to let you guys watch the trailer, I'll be back shortly. Make sure you're subscribing for all of the big news that will be coming on Sunday and let's take a look at the video. Allegations of doping continue. What has happened to sports? Should the record still count? Today, we celebrate the first draft of the Human Book of Life. It's been called the Age of Wearable Technology. Amazing things happen when we merge technology with our bodies. We will set the technological foundation for an enhanced human experience, and we will end disability. Good. In our pursuit of progress, if we undermine the morals that define us, what good is our beloved progress then? The court declared discrimination against modified persons unconstitutional. A historic day in sports as the IBA becomes the first league to allow modified athletes to compete. There she is, the fastest human in history. After all the debate, all the controversy, victory. Scientists announced they created the first networked brain-to-brain -brain connection. You can now literally share your thoughts with someone else. The biotech market skyrockets as DNA upgrades and organ replacements become the new luxury. You look at me and you see only what you want to see. But you know what I see? Everything. The 2055 retinal implant from Court Optic. Massive blast deck. Bionics firm Coalescence Corporation sparks worldwide protest. We can no longer stand in silence as these scientists play God. This is not about technology. This is about right and wrong. You think the retinal chips that you buy at the mall are high tech? Our military is light years ahead of that. The things that we use to heal ourselves, they are using to literally turn humans into weapons. The notion that the United States sponsors some sort of super soldier program is not just untrue, it's patently absurd. Next question. Neural control. Voluntary limb replacement. This is happening. The only question that remains is how far will we allow it to go? Wow, so let's go through this and see what we can find out. It, it gives us a fair amount of information, a lot more information we've had so far about this game, and it starts off with the statement that mankind's greatest mistake will be its inability to control the technology it has created. And this trailer is pretty much all about the development in human sort of uh, customization in a way, all the way from starting off with drugs and all the way finishing off with literally replacing parts of your body with um, literally like cyber, cyborg almost like parts Parts, including your legs, eyes, arms, and all of that. Now, I actually did a video recently talking about this uh, before we even had this trailer. I looked through Treyarch's Facebook page where they've been talking a lot about implants and biotechnology. I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description. So I was definitely onto the right lines, and this trailer links in with that a lot. It starts off with doping and just the use of drugs within sports and within the, within the athletic industry and how uh, more and more of these athletes start to take it and how we're altering our body to try and be sort of better versions for humans that we are today. Uh, there's a few things I do want to pick up on in this trailer that's more sort of towards the end in terms of the military side of things, um, but it's almost like a timeline and it's an interesting timeline because it starts off in the 90s and goes all the way up to 2060. So a big, big time difference there and definitely means that this game's going to be set more in the future despite a lot of the teasers that we've got being uh, sort of flashbacks to past uh, past events that have happened. So we get here wearable technology. Um, that ink that you've seen on the arm is again something that I mentioned in one of my previous videos where you can get like coding and passwords as ink on your body. So say you can go through a door, it will scan your arm, it can see the tattoo, and then it will use that as a way of like authenticating who you are and allowing you to get through. 
Uh, just a basic way of how that technology can be used. Here we start, start to see more of the cybernetic usage of body parts and how we can see that it can actually help people, disable people. You can see here this girl hearing for the very first time, which is obviously pretty crazy, and how it can be used in good ways. But obviously there's a darker side to all of this, the military side of things, how it's evolving, and we're going to be talking about that a little bit more as well. We talk about here the sort of DNA changing and manipulation um, in terms of how literally the babies that are being created are being altered so that um, like they have better body parts, they're genetically more enhanced than what you get normally. So things do get pretty crazy, but as things get crazier and crazier, of course, the people that are using this technology tend to be the people uh, up in the higher circles, to be the people with more money or the military organizations. Whereas if you're a normal common person that just doesn't have access to this kind of money, then things get a lot harder when you're sort of left behind. You've got a normal body and you've got people out there with like cybernetic arms and stuff. Now, here we talk about some very cool stuff, which actually uh, mentions how the very first, within sports at least, uh, the very first modified basketball players were allowed to play within the sport. And uh, it comes up with a very cool teaser as well here which is interesting uh, for basketball players or just well, in this case it was a basketball player um, and how he actually has an altered eye so we'll talk about that in a little bit and here we can also see the very first sprinter to actually win the event was actually uh, actually didn't have human legs they actually had modified legs and they actually went and took the gold medal so is that fair like is it right to do that but in between all of this sort of normal world stuff got go going on. We've also got, of course, all the military side of things and the darker side of things, which I keep on mentioning. We will talk about it in a little bit as well. Now, of course, all of this is single player related. Um, but honestly, like I'm a big fan of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 single player games. Uh, they've always been very in-depth. They've always had loads of like overlaps in terms of uh, the storylines and what's going on. And I think Black Ops 3 is going to be really, really crazy. And honestly, this is just going to be super excited for it. Of course, I always do walkthroughs of the games as well. So here we can see literally like brain operations, heart operations, how it's like manipulating the human body and really like advancing the technology that's going on. But there's also the case of, is it right? Should we be doing this? Is it fair? Like um, we're changing humans in ways that have never been changed before. Uh, and things are getting crazy. We're all the way into 2055. And this is a basketball adver advertisement I was talking about where he literally has genetically modified eyes, which allows him to see everything, which of course is crazy. I mean, imagine being able to analyze the trajectory of your throw that you're about to do from in basketball or analyzing how quickly someone's running alongside you and whether or not they're going to be able to catch up with you or not. Very, very cool. Uh, and you can see here the retinal implants. And there's also a link to a website called Core Optics as well. And if you go to that website, all it does is replay that short little clip of the basketball player. Um, but I think that website could potentially have more information in the future. At the moment, it just says coming soon. So I'll keep an eye on that website for you guys. And perhaps it will give away more information too. Now, here we start to see riots. This is where we start to see people rebelling. Uh, all of this technology has been used um, on people. But as I said, it's, it's the rich people that are getting away with it, that are able to buy all of these implants. But what about everyone else? You've got people in Africa, people across the world that are going on these huge riots because is it fair? Like, is, is this all technology being distributed evenly? There are just crazy riots going on and it's a very cool take on sort of technology and how things are changing and how people actually react to it um, and as I said I'm excited to see where this storyline goes we've got Dr. Salim which we've been talking about loads from the Snapchat te teasers who doesn't seem to be mentioned too much so far in this but I'm sure it's going to link in with it as well as we get closer to 2065, this is where things get interesting. So the user here mentions, if you guys watch the uh, trailer, that um, you know we've got some fantastic technology right now. People are able to alter themselves, but the uh, military are light years ahead in terms of their technology, and the humans that they're creating are almost robot-like humans that are made to actually go out and uh, and fight. But this isn't really like out of the ordinary. Like honestly, the military organizations are always light years ahead in terms of technology, even now. Like the the, the technology that the military organizations are using right now, we won't see as a consumer for probably like 10, 20 years. That's always how it works. Things get developed, money thrown at military um, uh, ideas and development stages, but then eventually you trickle down to a consumer level so that we can use it. So that isn't really too far-fetched, but obviously in this situation where technology is just miles and miles and miles ahead in the future, we can see that um, if it's used in the wrong way, it could be crazy. And this is a very cool thermal shot of these soldiers, and you can see the soldier on the right here when the thermal actually turns on, that the only part of him that's actually human is his head and his torso. His legs and arms, of course, come up as black, and that's because they're actually, um, they're not real, they're like prosthetics arms, right? So this guy is, 
yeah, like arguably half human, half robot, which is obviously where Black Ops 3 is leading to. And how is this going to tie into multiplayer? How is it going to tie into zombies? It's it's not exactly like Exos in terms of like actually giving your body enhancement. This is what we talked about um, in my video where we looked into all of the information from Treyarch's Facebook page. This is definitely more of a cybernetic, actually genetically modifying the inside of your bodies and changing part of your bodies so that you are becoming part robot, part human. So a very, very interesting trailer indeed. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This game, by the looks of it, is going to be set in the future all the way up to 2065, which I believe is the furthest a Call of Duty game has ever been set. So very far in the future indeed. And it looks, from a campaign perspective, looks absolutely mad and, and a very intriguing storyline indeed. And it's going to be interesting to find out more multiplayer and zombies information as we get to that later on in this year. So as I said, make sure you guys are subscribing because this Sunday, the full trailer is going to be coming out. You guys do not want to miss out on that. This is just a teaser for that trailer. Like, think about that for a second. Hopefully we get some gameplay footage on Sunday. I'm sure we will. It's going to be absolutely huge. You guys are awesome. You can check out more videos on screen here just in case you've missed them. Thank you so much for watching. Get hyped for Sunday, and I'll see you guys then.